Fishing is a human activity that's probably as old as humans have been around. We're a species that loves to eat fish. It's ten and a half feet. And it's been a long time head scratcher to get him out of the water without drowning or being eaten by some sea monster. These days, we use a lot of technology to help us with fishing. And that means we're catching bigger and bigger fish all the time. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's, 300. that's, that's 300. From the grouper that wasn't going to fit on any boat to the massive Italian catfish, here's the 20 most unbelievable fish catches. <sighs> Number 20. Caught a monster grouper that weighed more than the boat. When these two fishermen left the dock, they had one goal, to catch a goliath grouper that was bigger than their boat and let it go again. The boat's hull weighs 550 pounds, so they had to catch one of the biggest goliath groupers in all of Florida to beat this number. They began the day by fishing for false albacore bonito. Within minutes, the reel began to move and a fish was on. It ended up being a big mistake for that fish, which the guys identified as a snook. Then, in an amazing turn of events, a monster goliath grouper tried to eat the snook as he was bringing it in. After letting the snook go, the guys decided to try and catch the goliath grouper that was trying to eat the snook. This was their chance. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's, 300. that's, that's 300. They used a live bonito as bait, and then all of a sudden there he was, the biggest goliath grouper they had ever seen. He ate the bait and started pulling the boat right away. They thought this goliath grouper weighed between 600 and 700 pounds. So they reached their goal, which was to catch a fish that was bigger than their boat. The best part is that they put the fish back in the water. They didn't have much of a choice with this giant though. We should be helping out these big monsters. Before we go on, like this video, smash that subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. Speaking about big fish, back in the 60s, a couple of American guys dragged this thing onto the beach with their fishing boat. This is the only image we still have. We don't know what happened to those photographers, but we can only assume they became lunch for this massive sea monster. This thing is alleged to live in the deepest ocean and is the biggest predator there, but no one knows what it is and it hasn't been seen since. Everyone truly freaked out when they saw those teeth. What would you call this fish if you got to name it? Do you think we'll ever catch another one? Comment down below with the hashtag rare topic and let us know what you think about what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Professional fisherman Dino Ferrari managed to land a 280 pound Wells catfish in Italy's Po Delta. Here we are in Italy's Po Delta, where a fisherman named Dino Ferrari caught a Wells catfish that might just be a world record. Ferrari caught a catfish that was 8.7 feet long and weighed 280 pounds. The biggest Wells catfish ever caught weighed more than 300 pounds. But Ferrari may have caught the biggest catfish ever caught with a rod and reel. I'd say that's still impressive. Here are some pictures that show that this thing could easily eat a grown human if it wanted to. In fact, it's not the biggest catfish ever caught in Italy even. That title goes to another 298 pound Wells catfish from the Po River. It's said to be the same kind of fish that Ferrari and his brother Dario caught. When it got back to land, the Ferraris took pictures and weighed their catch. This fish story has a happy ending for the catfish who is clearly the main character. Ferrari threw his big catch back into the river. Number 18. Massive 1,433 pound black marlin caught off Australia coast. Experts in fishing groups have defended the actions of some fishermen who caught a nearly 650 kilogram black marlin off the coast of Queensland. A lot of people thought this was a very controversial catch because the unfortunate marlin died before it could be thrown back. It only took Rob Crane and his crew two hours to catch the 649.87 kilogram beast. When they saw that it was dead, they decided to bring it back to shore to see if they could beat the world record of 707 kilograms. The fish 
fisherman pointed out that the fish was killed during its fight with Mr. Crane off Lady Musgrove Island, not on board or on the way back to shore. The fisherman thought the black marlin was about 15 years old. It was the biggest one of its kind to be caught in Australia in more than 30 years. According to experts, more than 90% of caught fish survive after being set free. After the catch, pictures of Crane and his crew with the fish went viral, starting a heated debate on social media about whether it was right to go after the fish and bring it back to shore. Even though he didn't get the high score, Crane said it was a once in 20 lifetimes catch that most fishermen could only dream of. Yeah, biggest thing I've ever caught was about 20 pounds, so yeah, that, that sounds right. Number 17. A giant Warsaw grouper, one of the rarest deep water groupers in Florida. Next up, we take a look at two men in Florida who have been having the time of their lives after they caught a huge 300-pound fish called a Warsaw grouper. The huge fish lives in the deep waters in the Gulf of Mexico, where it's known as one of the hardest animals to hook and even harder to reel in. It took pro fisherman Joshua Jorgensen three years to find the fish. Jorgensen also put video of how hard it was for him to catch the grouper on his fishing show channel on YouTube. We caught a sea monster, Jorgensen says, clearly overjoyed. Ugh. Jorgensen and his boat captain, Jason Boyle, caught the grouper in the Gulf of Mexico near a coral reef near Fort Myers, Florida. He says that they used a banded rudder fish as bait, and the action didn't take long to start. When they got back to shore, they had to use a tractor to get it off the boat, and it ended up weighing a whopping 133 kilograms. Even though it's not the biggest, the Warsaw grouper is one of the rarest fish of its kind. Number 16. Giant goldfish-like fish caught in lake in France. UK fisherman Andy Hackett caught the carrot, a legendary huge carp that weighed a staggering 30 kilograms after a 25-minute fight. Blue Water Lakes, the fishery in France's Champagne region where the giant lives, says that the fish is the second largest of her kind ever caught. The large beast that looks like a giant goldfish stands out in the water because of its bright orange color. The carrot, on the other hand, has been very hard to catch. Hackett's finally caught the prized fish, and he was delighted. Blue Water Lake is a private place where anglers can try to catch one of the many fish that weigh more than 22.7 kilograms, and some weigh even more than 40 kilograms. Hackett caught carrot and weighed her, then he let her go back into the lake. The fishery has a rule that says no retention, which means that anglers can't bring the fish back to land. The Blue Water team also said that any injured fish are quickly taken care of and then put back into the water. Number 15. Minnesota man catches a mystery fish, rare for its color, remarkable for its age. This unusual huge fish caught by a fisherman has been identified as a very old big mouth buffalo fish. Jason Fugate was bow fishing in the Brainerd Lakes area of Minnesota with his friend Jamie Brichek when he caught a huge bright orange fish. When Fugate took the big fish out of the water, the bright color surprised him and his partner. Now after a few months, tests have shown that the fish is a very rare and very brightly colored big mouth buffalo fish. The buffalo fish is the biggest member of the sucker family in North America. It can grow up to 120 centimeters long and weigh up to 48 kilograms. The fish Fugate caught was 96 centimeters long and weighed 15 kilograms. But most fish that live in freshwater are light in color. After he took out the otolith, which are ear stones in the head of a fish that can tell how old they are, he found that the fish was very old. He thought that the bright orange color might be because the fish was so old. Fishermen have found big mouth buffalo fish that were up to 110 years old. He said that this rare fish was one of the oldest ones he's ever seen. Number 14. Texas fisherman reels in massive 14 foot hammerhead shark. Next up, we check out a fisherman who caught a huge 14-foot hammerhead shark near Corpus Christi, Texas, off Padre Island National Seashore. He called it a catch of multiple lifetimes. Poco Cedillo said that it took him almost an hour to catch the big shark. Cedillo said that he and other members of the group tried to put the shark back in the water, but it was too tired and it didn't make it. Cedillo and other members of the group took pictures and measured the shark after it died. They said that it was 14 feet long. Since they couldn't save the shark, they chose to eat the meat. I'm not sure how tasty hammerhead burgers are, but that's cool. It's the waste part that's the most intense to me. 
There's nine kinds of hammerhead sharks. Seven of them are on the red list of endangered species from the International Union for Conservation of Nature. The great hammerhead, which is the biggest, can grow to be 25 feet long, and it can live for 20 to 30 years. Sidello said he was sad the shark didn't make it. He said that his top goal has always been to let sharks go back into the ocean after he hooks them. There have been hundreds of comments on the post, with some criticizing Sidillo and the crew for killing the shark, and others defending their efforts to free the hammerhead. Number 13. Huge squid was caught in early February in the Ross Sea off Antarctica. Now our world tour heads down under to meet a fishing crew that caught a huge squid that could weigh half a ton and be the largest one ever caught. The fishermen were catching Patagonian toothfish, also called Chilean sea bass, south of New Zealand, and the squid was eating a hooked toothfish when it was hauled from the deep. The fishermen and a fisheries official on their ship guessed at the squid's length and weight. No official detailed measurements have been made. No one said when the Colossus was caught either, so this remains something of a mystery. The scientific name for the colossal squid is Misonicoteus hamiltoni. They can grow up to 46 feet long, and they've been one of the deep ocean's most mysterious creatures for a long time. If the original estimates are correct, the squid would weigh 330 pounds more than the next biggest one ever found. The frozen squid, whose eyes were said to be as big as dinner plates, will be taken to Te Papa, New Zealand's National Museum in Wellington, where it'll be kept by scientists so they can study it. Colossal squid live in the waters around Antarctica. They're not related to the giant squid that live near New Zealand. Giant squid can get as long as 39 feet, but they don't weigh as much as colossal squid. Number 12 huge 100-year-old sturgeon caught in British Columbia. A huge sturgeon that was 100 years old was caught in British Columbia, Canada, and put back into the river. Yves Bisson caught the fish that's known to be very hard to catch in the Fraser River near Chilliwack. Bisson, who runs a business that helps people go fishing, thought that the sturgeon must be at least 100 years old. Yes. And a half feet. He said that it was about 10 feet long and 600 pounds. Around the world, there's about 27 different kinds of sturgeon, and more than half of them are considered to be critically endangered. Sturgeons have been around since the time of the dinosaurs, but now they're in danger from too much fishing and the loss of their habitat. Their eggs, which are used to make caviar, are also often taken. The white sturgeon lives in the Fraser River. It's the largest freshwater fish in North America, and it also has the longest lifespan. They can live for hundreds of years, and they can grow to be 20 feet long. A video of Bisson's catch shows him dragging the huge fish through the shallows. The sturgeon's then put back into the river by Bisson. As it swims away, he says, unreal. Number 11. Petersburg fishermen make big catch. Nearly 400-pound halibut. Let's go to Alaska now, where local fishermen caught a halibut that weighed almost 400 pounds near Petersburg. It wasn't a record, but it was still pretty big. Brian Matson and Doug Coral were longlining in Frederick Sound near Petersburg when they got a surprise visitor. To beat the world record, the fish would have to weigh quite a lot more than 400 pounds. Matson said, We didn't even know it was on until we saw it from the surface. We used the winch to pull it up after pulling the shark hook on it, and it didn't even move. It just came right in. Matson has been fishing since he was a teen, but he says he's never caught a halibut this big. Matson was surprised to see the huge fish come out of the water. The long line gear on the boat made it easier to catch the fish. Matson said, A lot of guys go out in smaller boats that don't have the winches and other equipment to do it. But these guys were prepared for any comers. Number 10. Girl catches 1,000 pound bluefin tuna. Michelle Bansowitz Sikale caught a bluefin tuna off Hampton Beach in New Hampshire that weighed an insane 1,000 pounds. Sikale posted the video to Instagram and Facebook to show how hard it is to bring the fish on board. She started fishing in 2015, mostly for tuna. In 2019, she bought the FV No Limits, her trusty boat. She caught her first solo fish and it was 90 inches long and weighed more than 260 pounds, even after its head and tail were cut off. In the fishing world, this is called dressed. Then, soon enough, she was in the news again because she caught another mega tuna that weighed 1,400 pounds after it was dressed. People on social media are talking about a new catch that's said to weigh over 1,000 pounds, with its head and tail still attached. This is one lady who knows how to land some seriously big fish. Number 9. 
Giant Pacific Octopus Caught Off Oregon Coast The job of crabbing is dangerous and often tricky. Every day, crabbers put their lives at risk to feed us and make a small living. We're thankful for what they do. The salty aftertaste of fresh-caught crab is the best, especially when it's in chowder or smoked and dipped in and out of butter. But sometimes it's easy to wonder if all the trouble is worth it. When there's strong winds and rough seas, it's easy for a fishing boat to be swept away, taking the lives of the fishermen with it. Why bother? Maybe it's not just out of habit or because it's what they do every day. They might see something that people on land could never imagine. For example, a group of fishermen in Yaquina Bay, Oregon, not far from Newport, found a giant Pacific octopus stuck to their crab pot. It was determined to stay in the trap, but they managed to get rid of it and get away. One of the people on the boat, Nick Johnson, was able to get a video before they did. This was pretty awesome because octopus aren't really something that you see every day. They remind us that there are still mysteries to be solved in the animal kingdom. Mysteries that push the limits of what we think we know to be true. This huge cephalopod lives in the waters of the North Pacific. It can live to be five years old, which is a long time for its kind. The biggest one ever caught weighed 600 pounds and was 30 feet long. But most are 17 feet long and weigh 150 to 175 pounds. That's as much as a full-grown man, so when they show up, they're pretty scary. Number 8. Huge Sunfish Caught Off Spanish Coast Experts say that a huge sunfish that was caught in tuna fishing nets in the Mediterranean could weigh up to 4,400 pounds. It was the largest fish ever caught in Cueta, a Spanish city on the north coast of Africa. When the sunfish was put on a 1,000 kilogram scale, it almost broke it. Marine biologist Enrique Ostale said that he'd only read about sunfish this big. Because the animal was so heavy, researchers had to use a crane to lift it from an underwater chamber attached to the boat where it was trapped. Then they measured its size, took close-up pictures, and took samples of its DNA. Ostale said that even though sunfish this big have been seen in other parts of the world, fishermen and researchers had never seen one this big near his research center. Ostale thought the sunfish was part of the species Mola alexandrini because it had dark gray skin and round grooves in its sides. The sunfish found in Queta was probably more than 20 years old and is probably a female since no big males over 2 meters have been found so far. A sunfish from Japan that was about 9 feet long and weighed a massive 5,070 pounds holds the world record for weight. The longest one that's been measured was almost 11 feet, but it was never weighed officially. Number 7. Stingray caught in Cambodia's Mekong River is biggest freshwater fish ever recorded. It's crazy to think about how big some creatures in the ocean truly are. How about this giant stingray weighing 661 pounds, which was caught in a remote fishing village on the banks of the Mekong River in Cambodia. This makes it the heaviest freshwater fish ever recorded. The old record was held by a catfish that was 646 pounds and 13 feet long. It was found in northern Thailand in 2005. It also gives people new hope that big freshwater fish, which as a group are very endangered, can start to do well again. Che Celia, a member of a joint American-Cambodian research team called the Wonders of the Mekong, is studying the freshwater fish, said that fishermen caught the giant stingray one evening. The fishermen then contacted her team the following morning. After being weighed, the stingray was set free. Nearly a third of all freshwater fish species are threatened with extinction, according to the World Wildlife Fund. Since 1970, populations of freshwater fish weighing 66 pounds or more have declined by 94%. In 2020 alone, 16 species were declared extinct, including the Chinese paddlefish. The 661-pound stingray is also the fourth biggest freshwater fish to ever be found in that part of the Mekong River since April 22nd when Hogan's team started asking local fishermen to report any big fish they see. This means that the area, which is near the fishing village of Koh Priya and 140 miles northeast of Phnom Penh, the capital of Cambodia, could be a place where freshwater stingrays breed and should be protected. It looks like we can call it a stingray hotspot. Number 6. Fishermen catch giant oarfish believed to be sign of pending disaster. 
Oarfish are known for having long, large bodies. They're rarely seen in the oceans of the world. Because of this, some people thought that they were sea monsters from stories and myths. This is the case in Arica, Chile, where a group of fishermen brought back a 16-foot oarfish that people had long thought was a mythical fish. The giant oarfish is over 5 meters long, and it's been the subject of stories before. It's also known as the king of herrings, and it also has a reputation for predicting disasters. For example, dozens of oarfish showed up in Japan before the 2011 earthquake and the tsunami that killed over 50,000 people in the East Asian country. The deep sea fish also showed up in Mexico in 2020, 10 days before a major earthquake hit the Central American country. The rare fish spends most of its time in the ocean's depths. Some people say that the oarfish only come to the surface when they're in danger, dying, or having babies, or when a natural disaster is coming. Number five. World Record Paddlefish Caught by Wichita Family Here's the 18-year-old Wichita angler who now holds a world record. Grant Rader caught a paddlefish that weighed 164 pounds at Keystone Lake in Oklahoma. It happened when Rader went fishing with his father and grandfather on tour with a guide. The trip was planned to honor Rader's graduation from high school. Rader has a rare form of muscular dystrophy, but he says it's never stopped him from doing what he loves, which is fishing. I can't describe it. Being able to set a new state and world record is one of the best things that could ever happen. Happen, he said. The person who used to hold the world record was in the area, so he went out to the lake to congratulate Raider in person on taking over the title. Even though these fish are big, they feed almost entirely on zooplankton. They do this by opening their big mouths wide and filtering food out of the water with their gill rakes. Electroreceptors on the paddlefish's pointed paddle-like snouts, called rostrums, help them find food. This method is much more important to them than their eyesight. Paddlefish are thought to be primitive fish because they haven't changed much since the early Cretaceous period, about 120 to 125 million years ago. Number 4. 23-pound lobster. King Louie, a 23-pound lobster, now has a second chance at life thanks to a woman who set him free. This Canadian woman bought the giant lobster, which is thought to be 100 years old, so she wouldn't have to eat it, and so no one else could either. Rodney McDonald, whose family owns the Almer Lobster Shot, caught King Louie in the Bay of Fundy in New Brunswick. When local news outlets heard about the huge crustacean, they gave the shop several ideas for what to do with King Louie. Katie Conklin, a vegan from Nova Scotia, gave the McDonald's about $230 to make sure King Louie could go back to his open water kingdom. Even though Rodney's family makes a living by selling lobster, Brittany McDonald, Rodney's wife, said that they were fine with putting King Louie back in the bay. Rodney McDonald went against his natural instincts as a fisherman and drove his boat out to the middle of the bay to return the huge lobster home. He can be seen on the video saying thank you to Conklin, who was almost 230 miles away in Nova Scotia, before putting King Louie in the water, which was followed by a small splash. King Louie didn't have much to say, on the other hand. Rodney McDonald said that he buys more than a million pounds of lobster every year, and King Louie was the biggest and first lobster that he's ever let go. Number 3. Giant manta ray weighing 750 kilograms, caught by fishermen off Karnataka coast. A fisherman in Mangaluru went deep sea fishing off the Malpe port and caught two giant manta rays that weighed 750 kilograms and 250 kilograms. That was a big catch! Subhash Salman, the fisherman, got on his boat Naga City. After he got back to shore, the giant fish had to be put in a pickup truck with the help of a crane. A lot of local people were interested in the big catch, so they went to the port area to see the giant fish. Sadly, the giant manta ray is in danger. The giant manta ray is the biggest ray in the whole world. Its wings can be as long as 29 feet. They get their food by filtering the water and eat a lot of zooplankton. Giant manta rays grow slowly and move around a lot. Their populations are small and spread out all over the world. The biggest threat to the giant manta ray is commercial fishing. The species is both targeted and caught by accident in fisheries around the world. Stingrays are cartilaginous fish like sharks, which means they don't have any bones. Even though there's 220 different kinds of stingrays, 45 of them are considered to be vulnerable. Number 2. Huge shark weighing more than 500 pounds caught off UK's south coast. 
Off the south coast of England, two huge sharks that weighed more than 500 pounds each were caught in what was once a very rare occurrence that's now more common. Good news for the sharks. Adam Carter and Matt Mizzen caught the pair of poor beagle sharks, which are related to the deadly great white shark. They were caught about seven miles off the coast of Portland, Dorset. Recently, some other fishermen from Paynton said that they'd had a great whites off the coast south of Devon. At one point, the powerful predator dragged Mr. Carter's boat, the Kelsey Jane, over 200 yards before it got tired. Even after Mr. Carter caught the shark, it was too big to bring on board. Instead, he brought it alongside to take pictures and measure it before letting it go. Number 1. Giant Sawfish Caught Near Daman, Mumbai, India Near Vijay Durg, in the Sindhus Durg district of Maharashtra's Konkan region, India, a local fisherman caught a rare sawfish in his net. The huge sawfish is 20 feet long and 700 kilograms in weight. Uday Chowdhury, who's in charge of Sindhu Durg district, has confirmed that this rare fish was caught. Munir Mujawar was headed back to shore when he caught this big fish in his net. The fish is only about 20 feet long and about 1,500 pounds in weight. It's called a sawfish because the tip of its nose nose is lined with sharp teeth, making this a very dangerous fish. He said that he had never caught a fish like that before. The sawfish was already hurt when I found it, he said. It must have tried to get out of the net. But he said that rare fish have been caught in fishing nets in Sindhu Durg before. Sindhu Durg is part of the state's coastal region that's the farthest to the south. Dolphins are often seen in Vijay Durg. Sadly, it looks like this huge fish died because it got stuck in the net and choked to death. Have you ever caught a fish? What do you think of anglers who catch fish and then throw them back in the water? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.